with Madonna at the mansion on the hill. Wake up with our gorgeous Queen Madonna. Good morning to you. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to Mornings with Madonna on a happy Tuesday. Last week we did an episode on the boiler. And Mike asked if he could see the inside of the boiler. Great question, Mike. So we will do another episode on the boiler, this time on how it works. Mm, Grandma, it doesn't work. We use the other boiler now. That's right, Cliffy Poo. But this boiler is interesting because it was never switched over to oil. So the original coal equipment is here. The boiler even has the original shovels used on the boiler. And do you know what that pole is leaning up against the wall, Cliffy Poo? It's for clinkers, Grandma. Again, you are right, Cliffy Poo. Chunks of coal that didn't burn properly in the burn chamber are called clinkers, and they had to be broken up and dislodged with that poker. And that brings us to Mike's question about the inside of the boiler. Here it is. This is the firebox where the coal burned. The indentation at the bottom of the firebox is the burn chamber where coal burned and air was blown in fiercely through those holes to stoke the fire. The fire traveled through the fire tubes in the back of the box into the smoke box. All around those tubes and above the firebox was water. The water boiled into steam and went up into the radiators of the mansion. Grandma, I've heard that boilers are really dangerous. Yes, Cliffy Poo. The expansion rate of steam is tremendous, so only 2 psi is the working pressure of a steam boiler. The most dangerous problem is if it gets low on water. The pressure can increase very rapidly, then explode very quickly with tremendous force. The plug at the top of the firebox was designed to blow out before it was too late, release the pressure, and douse the firebox with water from above. Grandma, that sounds scary. Yes, Cliffy Poo. It was a full-time job. The most important instrument was this sight glass that showed the level of the water in the boiler. As a backup to the sight glass are those three knobs on the right. When they open, they can spray out water if it's at that level. The top one should shoot out steam. The bottom two should shoot out water. Did the boiler man throw coal in with a shovel? No, this boiler was automated. The coal would come down the coal chute into the hopper. The sprockets pulled the conveyor belt, and the paddles broke up the big chunks of coal when it dropped into the hopper. Then an auger drew the coal into the boiler along with a powerful flow of air. The large, round object is the fan. And this was all electric, Grandma? Yes, Cliffy Poo. It was a variable rate motor which could rev up on the coldest nights. The electric motor is missing, but you can see the pulley that the drive belt was attached to. Grandma, you're not sounding much like a grandma here. You know about everything. It's important to know mechanics of an old mansion. It helps to understand its history. Thanks for watching, and we hope you push like on the video. Also, share it like you would share anything worthwhile. Thanks for your help today, Cliffy Poo. Go in my purse, get a dollar, and treat yourself. And we will see you all tomorrow on Mornings with Madonna. Mornings with Madonna is 300 days. Will be 300 ways to see 300 Cliffy